Hey YouTube, it's Brooks and today we have a 2020 Lexus IS300 Blackline Edition. You guys have seen plenty of videos on the third generation IS, especially on my channel as I had in 2014, uh, but 2020 uh, bookend the last of the third generation IS in this, this design style. And the Blackline Edition was a 900 unit run to commemorate that. And so this is my, actually my first time in one of these black lines, and I wanted to give you a quick look at it while I had it. Um, sorry, it's a little dirty. It's rained every day that I've had it, except for today. Uh, and so the black line, like I said, was a special edition. And you could get that special edition in the 300 four-cylinder turbo, which this model is, the 300 V6 all-wheel drive, or the 350. Uh, it came in either the Subsidian Black, in Ultra White, or in Ultrasonic Blue 2.0. Uh, which may have been my pick, but the Subsidian is very pretty. All of the uh, black lines came on a spec. Of course, they were uh, F Sport packages. Uh, they all came with rear cross traffic alert with blind spot monitoring, um, navigation, and uh, like I said, that F Sport package. You can see some of the updates this body style got. So you have the refreshed wheels, new taillights, new rear valence down below here. Start it up. All of them came with this exclusive F Sport interior. Um, black line uh, accents were these gray inserts on the seats. Um, blue stitching, if you can see. And then you actually have blue accented wood that's on the steering wheel as well. that blue steering wheel like I mentioned and blue accenting over here as well these models also came with a card key uh, black line was the only way to get a card key on this model IS taking a look at the exterior you can see two of the uh, black line exclusive features um, these actually were vapor chrome finished alloy wheels very nice looking, especially when they're clean. The front one's got a little brake dust on it, but as you can see, a lot of shine there. 18 inch wheels. All of them had black mirror caps, of course, being that this one is also black, it doesn't really stand out as much. And of course, got that blind spot monitoring like I mentioned. But then the real highlight to me are these triple beam LED headlights. Uh, the hood is popped, so that's why there's a little gap there. I think these are a beautiful headlight design. You did not see many of this generation IS with this headlight. And it's interesting that the bigger bulb is actually the LED high beam, uh, with the triple beams being the smaller LED lights off to the side. And then you have these smaller LEDs on the inside for the uh, turn signals and your LED runner down below. That vapor chrome does go around the grill as well. And behind your Lexus logo is the Lexus Safety Systems uh, Plus radar. Like I mentioned, this is the 2-liter four-cylinder turbo motor. So 241 horsepower through the rear wheels, 258 pound-feet of torque, 8-speed uh, automatic transmission, about a 17 and a half gallon fuel tank. Uh, I took this car about 600 miles on a road trip and uh, got a little over 31 miles to the gallon on the highway. So being that the uh, Black lines were mono spec. This 300 would set you back about 46,595. I don't quite know the pricing of what the uh, 350 may have been or the all-wheel drive, um, but I imagine most of them came out as 300s at the time. Uh, now, of course, you have to get the V6 to get the F Sport, but that was not the case back in the day here. And by back in the day, I mean uh, last model year. 60/40 splitting roof. Um, rear seat and that turbo purring or the exhaust purring off that four cylinder you do have that blue accenting back here and the uh, gray accenting on the seats as well and I'm just popping back inside real quick
Of course, like all the F-Sports at the time, it does have the trick sliding feature that uh, everyone loves to show off. And like I said, 10.3 inch navigation screen. Uh, that's that 10 speaker Lexus premium audio system. And that blue stitching is all throughout. So this is uh, pretty much just a quick overview of the uh, IS300 black line from 2020. Um, you all know I had an IS for years and it's been really, really fun to be back in one for a couple days and a few hundred miles. I've absolutely loved driving it. So if you have any questions on this special edition, leave me a comment down below. I will catch you guys next time.